Hey guys, here's a review of the Tefal Simply Cook Fry Pan. And I've used this pan now for several months. I want to go over the review of how it cooks with this pan. I've cooked a variety of different items like salmon, uh, sweet potato. Actually, I have sweet potato there that I just cooked with this pan. Uh, luckily, I went ahead and washed this pan to do this review. And I had to do this review because of how great this product is. Um, you know, this is one of the products that when I purchased it, I was kind of hesitant. Um, but when I purchased it, uh, I'm, look, uh, I'm glad I did because it's done a phenomenal job in terms of holding up. Now, there are some pros and cons to this pan, which I'll go over. And if you haven't already, please press the like button for the YouTube algorithm down below. It's going to help out the channel. And uh, subscribe also down below right next to the notification bell. So let's jump right into it, guys. Um, these are some of the technical details. It does say lifetime guarantee. A lot of these lifetime guarantees where, you know, when you do have the pot or pan, you're going to have to mail it to them. And then you're going to have to pay for the shipping uh, of the item to get back to you. So you're paying about 5 or $10 to ship it. Then you're paying about 5 or $10 to ship it back. So you're looking at about $20. Uh, I paid about 35 for this uh, pan. So overall, you know, it really depends on the time, effort, energy of, of purchasing a box and mailing it back for the lifetime guarantee, but I don't really count on it. But it's nice to have it there. Um, these are some of the, the, the main things it has. It has a, um, it just indicates a pan is properly preheating to start cooking, which I think is really nice. This is the um, area right here, the T. Um, it kind of shows, uh, you know, if it does turn, you know, brighter red, it shows that, okay, it is properly ready to to cook, which I think is okay. It's, you know, it shows that if it's hot or not. Um, we've got a ProGlide Superior Release Non-Stick, um, which is okay, but, um, you know, the non-stick stuff, you've got to be really worried of how you scratch it and also those components going into your food. So you want to use a, a silicone or a Teflon or nylon type of, uh, you know, spatula or whatnot when cooking. So just keep that in mind. Um, a little more details in the back. So let's jump right into it. You can use this um, basically pan for uh, ovens that are gas or electric or ceramic or, or whatever. And you can also wash this in a dishwasher. I have a uh, gas uh, oven right there. Or stove so I use this on gas but you can use this on the electric stoves as well it has a nice little handle uh, pretty standard it has an elevated uh, pathway right there which is nice um, the back of it as you can see has some paneling where uh, with these areas the golden or orange areas this is pretty nice here where they kind of develop that um, I don't know if it helps out in terms of heating I hope it does but um, you can see right here, I can, I can touch it. There is definitely a riveting motion. And that's where um, the little metal things right here is kind of popping up. But when I'm touching this, I don't know if you guys can see in the glare, there's a lot of scratches on this uh, frying pan. And this is a 10 inch frying pan. So it's not that big, but it's, it's big for in terms of doing many things. But there's many, many scratches here. So over time, I foresee this being an issue with this frying pan in terms of the longevity of, of frying and having that nonstick coating to it. Um, you know, does it heat well? Yes, it heats great in terms of it being uh, heated throughout the bottom of it. It does an amazing job because I know when I cook items on the side or in the middle, it cooks really evenly. So I'm really happy about that. Um, it's held up pretty well, I mean, in terms of these rivets here, um, I mean, you can't see it that well, but there's not really that many scratches. I mean, I don't use a, a knife or, or fork on it, but it has held up fairly well. So for the price, I think it's a really good price for this. I'm going to post down a review down uh, below in the description if you like to purchase this off Amazon. Um, Amazon usually is cheaper. I purchased this from Target, like I said, almost $40 after tax, so... Um, Amazon usually does have it cheaper. If it does, I will post a link down below in the description. And if you guys have used this brand, Tefal, let me know your thoughts and how it's you know been working for you. Um, you know, has it been a quality pan that's that's held up over time? Uh, have you had any issues with it? And you have any other brands 
that you've used, let me know in the comment section down below. I'd like to you know purchase it and check it out. I'm always up for purchasing new items and, and reviewing it for you all. So happy to hear your thoughts in the description down below. And press the like button down again for the YouTube algorithm. It's going to help out the channel so I can create more videos and subscribe for updates on other videos I may post. Thanks, guys. See you in the next video.